Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to show you exactly how you can recover an Amazon EC2 instance if you've lost your key pairs using the AWS Systems Manager Session Manager. As you can see, I'm already logged into the AWS Management Console and in the list of my EC2 instances, I've got this one here. And for this instance, I have lost the key pair. To be able to connect to this instance, I need three things. First, I need to make sure that the AWS Systems Manager agent is running on the instance. Second, I need to make sure that the instance can communicate with the AWS Systems Manager using an instance profile and the necessary permissions. And third, I need to use the AWS Systems Manager Session Manager to actually connect to the instance. Let's have a look at step one, check if the agent is running on the instance. Right here in the documentation, you can see that the SSM agent must be installed on each instance you want to use with AWS Systems Manager. By default, it is pre-installed on the following AMIs, Amazon Linux, Linux 2. I will post a link to this list in the description below. So let's have a look. The instance that we are running is using the Amazon Linux platform, specifically the Amazon Linux 2 instance, which is in this list. So we can assume that the agent is running unless we have actively turned it off. So what I'm going to do right now is go back to the instances, make sure this instance is selected, go to actions, security, modify IAM role. And this is how I can add a specific role that has permissions to communicate with the systems manager. Right now, I don't have any roles, but I can create one here. I'll click on this, click on create role. It's going to be a service role. I click on EC2, next permissions. And what I'm looking for here is the SSM managed instance core permissions. This will allow the instance to communicate with the SSM, with the systems manager. I select this. Next tag, just leave it as, as it is. Review, give it a name, EC2 SSM core role. Click on create role. And here it is, my EC2 SSM core role. The, the trusted entity is the EC2 service. I can close this and go back here, reload the list of roles. And once I open this, I can see my EC2 SSM core role and click on save. So with this setup, I'm going to the systems manager, scroll down to session manager and click on start session. So right now it isn't showing me any instances and that's because the agent on the instance just hasn't updated yet. So we might have to wait a few minutes, but I'm just going to fast forward. So after about five minutes, the instance has showed up in my list and I can just select it and click on start session. And this just opened the shell to the EC2 instance. And now I'm able to see what I can do. Who am I? SSM user. Let's see if I can sudo. So yes, I can get super user permissions on the instance using the AWS Systems Manager Session Manager. And I can either create a new key pair and add it to the instance, or even better, don't use a key pair, don't SSH into the instance, but always use the AWS Systems Manager Session Manager to log into the instance. Because in general, this is much more secure than opening an SSH port on the instance and in the firewall anyway. And this is how you can connect to an Amazon EC2 instance using the AWS Systems Manager Session Manager, which can be really useful whenever you've lost your key pair. Don't forget to like this video. See you in the next one.